internet friends, welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, Magic Brad here, Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And guess what? I've got someone new on the line. No, actually, they're from before. We did it before. And uh, are you there? I'm here. Oh, good. And could you share people with, with, with your name and where you're from? Because I think you're from California. Am I right? I am. I, absolutely. Yeah, I'm in Santa Barbara, California. It's beautiful here. We had a couple of days of rain, so we're very excited about that since we're in a horrible drought. And my name is Dr. Kathy Groover. Uh, I have a PhD in natural health. I'm a massage therapist, a hypnotherapist, an author, a speaker, and I do flying trapeze. Oh, that's, I remember that part too. And it's Kathy with a K, right? Oh, you froze up. No, don't do this. I say you totally froze. I did too. There, you did too. There you go. Well, see, I've got an excuse for freezing because we're up in Minnesota. You don't. <laughs> I know. It was the shock of flying trapeze. It just the whole system went, what? <laughs> That's right. Okay. Gonna... Okay, we'll get, let's get stabilized here. That, that threw me off a little bit when that stuff happens. All of a sudden, are you still there? <laughs> <I'm here. laughs> what if that happened in real conversation? You ever seen one of those? No, uh, actually, you know, I'd kind of appreciate what that was. Some people's like, put the pause button on, go do something else. You ever seen one of those flash on. mobs? Yeah, yeah, that would be kind of nice. <laughs> you ever seen one of those flash mobs where they freeze like that? Yes, I've done flash mobs. <laughs> <They're very well. laughs> okay, so, okay, we're back in. We're moving forward. So you're saying that you've got your, uh, it's a re-release of your book? Yeah, I, I wrote it back in 2014. It's called Conquer Your Stress, and it's a collection of, of, health and wellness tips on how to deal with your stress. It's a buffet of options. And I was so privileged that earlier this year I had it picked up by a traditional publisher. Yay. So they republished it. It's available nationwide. And we just got a contract for India. So it's now international. So I'm very excited to, to get to share it with more people. You know, it's a very stressful time. And uh, we can always use more tips to de-stress. So very excited. Well, it is appropriate for that with the holidays coming in. I know that um, people get stressed. I, I had a, uh, years ago, I had a mild stroke, a TIA. And, uh, and it, stress sneaks up on you unless you know what the heck's going on. It sneaks up on you. And these holidays and stuff, I think part of the, the stress comes from the expectation that you're supposed to get people gifts. And then the, the challenges with the multiple events happening if you've got a spouse should we go to her parents or should we go to my parents? And there's all that work stuff, your job, my job. So it can be stressful and you don't even really notice it. So is that part of what your book has in it is some of these tips on what to look for? Yeah, absolutely. I've got a whole section on warning signs of stress. Um, everything from clenching your jaw to overindulgence in drugs and alcohol, overeating. And one that people don't think about is sighing. So there's always that person at our office that sort of walks around going, you know, there's this gasp for air. Well, that's because we're holding our breath. Those people are in a fight or flight response. So things that you might not have even thought about can often be an indication that you're having stress. And we become so used to them that we don't even think there's a problem. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm used to having jaw tension or I'm used to not sleeping or sure, six packs of cigarettes a day is normal. Mm, no. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is actually recognize you're having stress and then you can deal with it from there. What's the name of your book again? Conquer your stress with mind-body techniques. Mind-body techniques. Is that got anything to do with breath work? It does. There's a whole section on breath work because that's the basis of this. Right. You know, that's one of the two functions in the body that we can completely control, and it's completely out of our control. The other one's blinking. You know, we can blink at will. We can hold our breath. We can slow our breath. We can speed our breath up. And if nothing else, just paying attention to our breath oftentimes anchors us back in the present moment, which... You know, honestly, here there's no stress. The stress is behind us in things we're worried about or in front of us in things that, you know, what the, all those what ifs. What if Uncle Joe gets drunk again and starts a fight with Aunt Mary about politics and, you know, all these, these what ifs. You've been to my house. <laughs> like cancer. I bet you don't meet your family. <laughs> no, I don't. This is why my husband, my husband and I aren't seeing family this year. 
Well, you know, there, there is a lot of that where it's going back and forth and a person doesn't want to know about it. And that's the interesting thing about stress is it's, it's common. A lot of people talk about it, but it is something that just does sneak up on you. So it's good to know those little uh, things. I, didn't, I never thought about the whole concept of sighing, but I do know that you have to breathe. I mean, it's, you can go a few days without food and water, but you can't go a few days without any breath. Yeah, no, that doesn't bode well. <laughs> So um, is there like a website domain? I mean, we'll do that at the end of this interview also, but is there a website domain to find your book? You just go to your yeah, website? Yeah, absolutely. Of course, it's on Amazon, but it's also at thealternativemedicinecabinet.com, and that's you can get all my books there, lots of great free, re free resources as well. Thealternativemedicinecabinet.com. It's a long one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How about, is it on your website? Do you have your, your own personal website? Yeah, kathygruber.com is... That's easier. It's less stressful. Speaking. Kathy Groover. But, but we can... Kathygruber.com. You can, you can get the books there as well. There's a lot of information okay. about me as a public speaker. I do a lot of mo motivational speaking, and that's my main site for that. So you can get my books all over the place. But yeah, that's a shorter website. And uh, as far as your speaking and stuff, do you travel for that? I do. I was so privileged. I just got back from South Africa. I keynoted a big talk down there um, outside of Cape Town. And then I was in Rome this year, and I'm already slated to go to London and India next year. It's it's really taking off, and that's such a passion of mine. I used to be an actress. So to get in front of people, you know, whether I'm doing this or whether I'm standing in front of a crowd, I really, really enjoy. And the trapeze thing. Health this way, so. Do you do demos when you do speaking? Do you, do you have them put up a trapeze and stuff so you can do a demo? <laughs> Is that how you enter the stage? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I've actually thought about that. Like when Mike, when you know, when I'm like that big, I want to you know, swoop in on a trapeze and land everyone cheers and there's all this music. Yeah, I, just, I have fantasies about that. <laughs> I think that would be good. Kind of loosen everybody up a little bit. Exactly, and then we can all do trapeze because it's such. It, frankly, for me, it's a great stress reliever, which you know is just another illustration that we all deal with stress differently, and we all have a stress reduction technique that works better for us. I'm not a big yoga person. I, I find it too slow. I, I'm a dancer, so my body body doesn't do yoga as well as it does dance. So we have to customize that. I give you permission to not do yoga if you don't want to. <laughs> Go dance, do trapeze, pet your cat, take a walk, you know, um, enjoy whatever works for you as far as a stress reduction technique. And I know that it's really important to, I mean, again, I reiterate that uh, I had a, that mild stroke and it, it I never would it never would have expected it and that was definitely part of it aside from a you know a lousy diet and no exercise that stress factor it sneaks up on you so very interesting um I don't like to do these too long because it can stress people out when they're watching a video and they got to get back to work or something like that yeah. so we keep it kind of tight don't do that. but if you want to sign it off with uh, any of your upcoming programs you got and reiterate your domain names and things and then of course I'll put these on so people can just access it with just a click yeah absolutely I will leave you with my favorite technique though it's called a mini meditation and you can do this anywhere anytime if you're not a meditator it's great you simply concentrate on your breath like we already talked about and on the inhale you think I am and on the exhale you think at peace and just repeat that over and over again and if other thoughts intrude which they often do just dismiss them without judgment and return to I am at peace. Brings you right back to the present moment. It's my favorite little short technique, so I wanted to leave you guys with that. And I talk about that in the book as well as about 40 other stress busters, and it's called Conquer Your Stress. And it's on either of my two sites, the stress-free one, kathygroover.com, and the longer one, uh, thealternativemedicinecabinet.com. And uh, thanks for having me on again, Brad. I appreciate it. It is, and whenever you got other things like this coming up, definitely let me know because I like to uh, synergize and collaborate and put this stuff out. So I will uh, get this recorded and up to YouTube and out to the internet. Beautiful. So, I appreciate you taking the time and have a happy Absolutely. holiday, stress-free. Oh, you too, thanks. Okay, <laughs> be well, peace.